whatever you perceive is lacking in any situation is what you have failed to give. It's an amazing sentence because it, it gives us the key to the gateway to the Kingdom of Heaven for ourselves to really have, take the key and then to use the key, to turn the key. Whatever you feel is lacking in any situation is what you have failed to give. So what does that mean? What does that say about us as human beings? It just means that, that we've emphasized the human part and we've de-emphasized the being part. Uh, you know, it's been such a focus on scarcity, on lack, on survival. And I'm just going to use a real short word so that you'll be able to remember it. Getting. Get. Getting. It's, we're human getters. We're, we're trying to get attention. We're trying to get money. We're trying to get love. We're trying to get affection. We're trying to get notoriety. We're trying to get noticed. We're trying to carve out a niche for ourselves like we were taught. Carve out a niche for yourself, you know. Nobody's going to take care of you. you got to take care of yourself. You're going to have to get. You're going to have to be a pretty good getter, a proficient getter in this world in order to survive. And, you know, I, I see that that first thing that Jesus was talking about is what you fail to give is our only function on earth is to learn to give as God gives. Because God is not a reciprocal God. God doesn't give in order to get something back. Sometimes it gets portrayed that way, as if God has an ego and God's watching us. God is watching us. God is watching us. God is watching us from a distance. That's not, doesn't sound good. I don't like being watched. <laughs> Especially from a distance. I don't like it close up, but even from a distance. And to me, that sounds a little sneaky. God is watching us from a distance. No, a lurker, huh? That's a lurker. Always lurking, lurking, lurking. Voyeur, you observer, a voyeur, one from a distance. No, God is, God's a giver. God gives love. God extends love. God extends only love. And God doesn't even know what reciprocity is. So God's not saying, listen, I'll give, give, give to you, my beloved child, and now. Here's the conditions. <laughs> this is what I want back in return. Uh, even when Christians, really well-meaning Christians sometimes will say, our God is a jealous God. You know, you've got all these distractions and God wants only your focus and attention. That's still a bit bizarre. To say God is jealous, as if God is aware of all these distractions <laughs> somehow. He's like, pay attention to me some too. You know, I created you. At least come, you pray to me some. And praise me. Come on, praise, praise, come. <laughs> praise, praise. You know, God is God does not have an ego, and God does not want anything actually. But God doesn't even know what wanting is. God doesn't know what getting is, and the condition of human beings are we're born with. An with an ego, born of an ego, projected people are, are peopled from the ego. The, the ego peopled the world. The ego put the people out there. These, these seven billion little bottom feeders wanted to get, 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 psychologically, physically, get, get, get. And the ones that are called the successful ones are the ones that are the better getters. That's a pretty sneaky trap. The ones that get more are admired. And yet they have nothing to do with God, because God is not a creator of getting. In fact, Jesus teaches us that, just like the Bible said, as you sow, so shall you reap, and we've heard that what goes around comes around, what, what Jesus teaches us is giving and receiving are the same. So all that I give is given to myself. That's why I need to be a giver, because I won't know my true identity, because I won't receive the love that I'm giving unless I learn to give the love. 